Hi, I know the periodic table up to yttrium and welcome to ES Einsteinium. Hawking radiation is something I came across in research for my black hole video, which I strongly recommend you watch. I explained it briefly there, so now here we are. This Stephen Hawking's theory on what happened at a black hole. In quantum physics, particles and antiparticles spawn and then rapidly cancel each other out when they touch. These are only around for an instant, so they're not really considered part of reality. On the event horizon of a black hole, these particles and antiparticles will spawn into existence, and in that instance where they exist, the antiparticle will fall into the black hole due to its gravity. The normal particle will fly off into space as it has the energy to do so, and be shown as a dark blue light around the event horizon, a form of radiation, which is where Hawking radiation comes from. In my eyes, this would cause a black hole to, in a sense, die. As the antiparticle falls towards the singularity in the centre, it will collide with a particle at the centre and cancel them out. The net amount of particles in the universe will stay the same as one particle is being created and another destroyed, all in the instant. Now, if this happened all around the surface area of the event horizon, then that's a lot of antiparticles eating away at the singularity, causing it to get smaller and smaller and smaller, until over time it simply doesn't exist anymore. Its energy and mass has been sent out across the universe. You idiot, you can simply look at the centre of a galaxy to find one. Well, we can see that something with huge gravitational effects is there as astrophysicists have been tracking stars near the centre of the Milky Way, and they get flung around like comets in our own solar system. But there's a huge mass of gas in between us and them, so we can't see it. What about other galaxies then? Well, if you've ever seen a good photo of a galaxy, you can see that the core is very bright from the large number of stars in the middle. This makes it very difficult to see anything using visual light. We can see the stars through infrared, but a black hole at the centre? It does not emit infrared. There is hope. We can produce a deep radio map of the area which detects black hole. We can find them because it picks up the mass of everything, but we can filter out things that give off x-rays and ultraviolet. Thus making it easier to find one, but it's still very difficult. That's my summary of Hawking radiation. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe for more videos. I am the Eccentric Scientist signing off. Bye!